Hi, I'm Chef Nick, and today we're going to crack the code on cooking Kobe on this episode of Nuts and Bolts. Today's recipe is easy to cook, great on the table, you're going to love it. Hey, all you're going to need for this Kobe with the Southwestern Spices is a little uh, canned green chilies, diced white onion, diced tomato, oregano, lemon juice, extra virgin olive oil, salt, and a little southwestern spice rub. And you're gonna put that on the Kobe when you put it on the grill and it's gonna give you that little extra flavor that you need to take it over the top. What we're gonna do is take an inch thick piece of Kobe and we're gonna take a little of this uh, high quality mayonnaise and we're gonna slather that on there a little bit. This is gonna help give us better grill marks and keep it from sticking. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle this red chili spice all over it. And to cook this, it's gonna take about four minutes per side. I put the uh, spice side down to get that started, and then I'm gonna take some more mayonnaise and put it on the other side and season that up as well so we got nice flavor throughout. You can smell the red chilies and the cumin and the garlic permeating the air, it's delicious. You're gonna love this. The great thing about this salsa is you can make it in the morning, put it in the refrigerator, and it's just going to get better. Uh, it's a simple process. Once you have all your ingredients cut, you just put them in the bowl, mix them up, throw it in the fridge, and you're set. You just add your green chilies, your onion, your tomato, oregano, if the wind doesn't take it all, fresh lemon juice, olive oil, a little salt, and last thing, a couple of cracks of pepper. Got to play the wind though. All right, then we're just going to toss this up and let all the flavors marry together. And it's going to be one of the tastiest, easiest salsas you've ever had. That looks good, huh? This is about an inch thick piece of cobia. We're going to cook it about three to four minutes on each side and they'll be perfectly done. What you don't want to do is overcook your fish and dry it out because when you lose moisture, you lose flavor. And now it's time to turn it. So all we're going to do is just turn it directly over on the side and start the other side and we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to give it another corner turn in about two minutes and it gives you those great grill marks that it's going to impress your friends with. If charred up some of that southwestern spices, it's going to give it that little smokiness which is going to make that salsa really stand out. Well now that our fish is completely cooked, we're ready to plate it up. We're going to stick it on some Savannah red rice with a little broccolini and then we're going to top it off with our salsa. There you have it, the Southwestern Spice Kobe with the green chili salsa. It's one of my favorite dishes here at the Skull Creek Boathouse. I hope it'll be one of yours.